What's going on guys? The Comics Kid 2099 here. Welcome to day 209 of the 365 day graphic novel review challenge. Over the last few days, I've talked about indie books that feature a robot in some capacity or robots plural in some capacity. And today I want to continue that trend by talking about Fused, Think Like a Machine. This is written by Steve Niles with art by Josh Medors and Peter Rapovsky. This is a four-issue miniseries from Dark Horse Comics and Rocket Comics. And uh, this is the story of Mark Haggerty, who is a ro uh, robot scientist. He works in robotics, and he accidentally uh, gets stuck in this robot suit. And then he just wants to have a normal life. And then uh, various people and uh, forces around him are trying to make sure that he does not get to live a normal life. In a lot of ways, this reminds me of The Coffee by Phil Hester that I talked about uh, earlier this month, I believe. And uh, actually, if I hadn't read The Coffin recently, I probably would have enjoyed this quite a bit more. Uh, the premise reminds me very much of The Coffin, specifically a guy stuck in a robot suit uh, trying to uh, live something that kind of sort of resembles a normal life. Uh, the circumstances surrounding uh, the protagonist in The Coffin is very different from the circumstances here, uh, but it does kind of remind me of some of the basic general steps that The Coffin went through in that story. Uh, but The Coffin is a much better story. I hate to say it, but this story is not very good. Uh, it feels like they took the general premise of The Coffin or Swamp Thing, uh, your normal dude who gets turned into a monster of some kind and just wants to live a normal life with his lover. Uh, they took that general story, and then they turned it through the blender of the 1990s, and they threw every extreme cliche that they could possibly think of from the 1990s into the story. Now, I don't even think that this was done in the 90s. I think this was done sometime in the 21st century, but it feels like it came right out of the 1990s with everything stupid and awful from the 90s that you can imagine being thrown into this book. Uh, you've got uh, the really uh, silly names uh, like this guy. Uh, his official name is Cybot. Uh, everyone calls him Crybot because he's always uh, whining about how he wants a normal life. Uh, then you've got uh, the bad guy who is a monster called Cro-Mag. Uh, all these names that sound like they came right out of an image comic from the 1990s. Uh, also, uh, this feels, in a lot of ways, uh, kind of segueing from that thing about the extremes of the 90s, uh, this feels like something that uh, Michael Bay would have written. And uh, I don't mean that as a compliment. Some people like Michael Bay. I don't think that he's that great of a storyteller. Uh, this feels, a lot of ways, like something that Michael Bay would have written. Uh, you've got the characters who are uh, seemingly good guys at first, and then, uh-oh, they're not so good. Uh, they've got a little bit of darkness in them. Uh, that's not a very uh, well-affected uh, turn of storytelling. Uh, I didn't really like the way that that played out here. I think it could have worked fine, uh, but it was really easy to see it coming about a mile and a half away. Uh, basically, uh, this story uh, feels like they were trying to create a franchise. They were trying to jump off of this miniseries and create a new ongoing character in the form of uh, Cybot or Mark Haggerty, and it just doesn't feel like they really had their heart set into this. It feels like they were going through the motions. Okay, we need our bad guy. Let's have it be this government organization who wants to use Cybot for their own purposes. We need a good guy. Okay, let's have this guy who's stuck in a robot suit and he's always whining about how he wants a normal life. Uh, it feels like they were just filling in the blanks, but they weren't really putting much thought or effort into this story beyond just filling in the blanks. Uh, it's hard for me to care about Mark and his wife because I never got to know them before he was stuck in this robot suit. And I'm not saying that this should spend a whole lot of time on origin stuff, getting him into the robot suit, but as soon as we meet this guy, like, I'm not even kidding, literally the first page, he's whining and crying about being stuck in this robot suit. And it's understandable, but I don't know who this guy is beyond him wanting a normal life. I don't know anything about him. It's really just kind of pathetic reading about him and all he wants, literally the only thing he ever talks about, is wanting to move somewhere and have a normal life, settle down with his wife, try and get things back to normal, even though we the reader know that that's impossible because he's stuck in this eight foot robot suit. And also, if he does find something some way to make his normal life work, then we, the reader, are going to be very bored and very disappointed because the story ends. There's no way that you can make a compelling, engaging story out of this guy living a normal life with his wife. Uh, we want to see him uh, punching missiles and uh, stopping Cro-Mag from uh, threatening innocent people. That's what we want to see. We just want to see it done with a character who is likable and emotionally engaging and also in a story that is not filled to the brim with cliches. Uh, this story does have a sequel. Uh, I believe it is called canned heat. Uh, I did not buy it because I did not enjoy this story. Uh, I've read this story twice. I did not enjoy it either time that I read it, but I was thinking when I was getting ready for this video that maybe I'll enjoy it more this time. No, uh, it's still not very good. Uh, so yeah, this did have a sequel.
sequel, but I do not recommend buying it because this story does not deserve to have a sequel. Uh, so those are my thoughts on Fused Think Like a Machine. I hope that you guys liked this video, and if you did, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back tomorrow with a different video. In the meantime, you guys have a great rest of the day. Catch you later.